the Red Bull Ring, Formula 3 machinery, obviously alongside you, Dean Biggles. It's really, really exciting stuff. We've got a packed grid and a lot of racing action uh, yet to come. And I, for one, am really, really looking forward to seeing how today goes. It's a short circuit. It's a very, very straight circuit. A lot of undulation from top to bottom, all the way around the 10 corners here at the Red Bull Ring. It's definitely, definitely going to be one to remember. 33 laps of racing are upon us. It's a step into the unknown. A new era, a new championship has been born. Rivera controls the pace on the very foggy run to the line. When's he going to put his foot to the floor and send us underway? The lights will come on. The green flag will be waved. And the sim racing for Simpletons. Formula 3 Championship is a go. Very chaotic in that fight, really, for fourth place and fifth place just in behind. But Rivera gets a clean start. The fight for the second, however, goes three wide into the first corner. Brooks goes the long way around. Rune takes to the inside. Bit of contact as they work their way through. Shane Larson is quite keen to find his way past Keen in that fight for fourth as well. The battle uphill towards turn number three, though, is where it's at. The slipstream. Could there be a change for the leaders? Brooks is very tightly in contention. Is Rivera going to be able to stem the attack? Indeed. So the triple two of Rivera able to hang on from pole position and so far so good in terms of a clean start. So a little bit riding on board with Shane Larson who was all the fives in qualifying. He's trying to break that cycle and get his way up into fourth inside line for turn number one. The uphill climb under brakes and the American has done exactly that. No up and under from Keane. However, the slipstream might go the way. Take a shot every time we make a Keane pun because, well, there's going to be plenty of them over the course of the eight round championship. Closing, closing, closing. Looking very daunting is the Canadian. He pulls himself to the left hand side of the circuit. Pulls ahead before the braking zone. Also side by side between the Belgian, the Englishman of Whitefield and Curto and that fight towards turn number three as well. What is the hot topic is Kurto versus Weefield in that fight for sick. Defensive already goes the Belgian. Bring it back over to the left-hand side slightly, which is going to invite the 64 machine to take to the inside. Better breaking zone, of course. Who's bravest on the pair of them? It is the way of the Englishman who finds his way up and now into sixth place. A spin, though. That is of Larson. That is a huge spin from Shane Larson. He finds himself all the way to the back of the field. Mm, I've seen that before at the top of the mountain. or well, the top of the hill, really, here. So easy, isn't it, to get on that gas pedal on the car just says, uh-uh, not on my watch. What do you reckon about this one there, Zaki? Well, we'll see. Defensive goes Rivera. Having a bit of a look was keen, but he's got to be clever about it. He's got to close the gap. Look at how much he's closing through the apex. And now it's a case of who can put their foot to the floor first, who can run their way downhill in towards turn number four. Rivera feeling the pressure, weaving left to right, trying to break the slipstream as much as possible. Keen duck and dive and trying to find the gap. The car looking a bit out of shape. Turn number four, no way through for the number five machine. And that might stay the way for quite some time. Boxing at the same time, off. too. Both at the same time. Yeah, so Keen was like, yeah, no, there's no variation. We're not settling this in the pit lane. We're doing this on track, mate. There's no there's no two ways about it. Look at him. He's already angled himself out of the pit lane, whereas Rivera's going to have to turn to avoid uh, the pit lane exit. Keen knows what he's doing. And now a bit of a faster stop, I believe, going the way of Rivera. Indeed, seven tenths, 4.85 stationary for Rivera, 5.52 for Keen. That has allowed the American to branch out of the slipstream range, not the DRS range, but the slipstream range. But what could be the cup of tea is for Carson Keen to sniff victory. Also, for Michael Brooks to be on the back of Daniel Weefield as well in that fight for fourth. Closing the gap is the 83 American. Which way is he going to go? No way through into turn number three. He's been on a fight back all the way throughout this race. Had to take an extra stop as well, I believe, which is uh, obviously suboptimal for him, but he's continuing on in this race and well, looking for more. Can you repeat the question, please? Oh my God, it did this fantastically, exactly. About the blue flags, and of course, in the, the racing. A great action as we're getting out to the diring stages at the moment. So don't worry about it. It's not the Formula 1 that you're watching. It's Formula 3. You don't have to have a little bit of a lay down during a 100% race. This is going to be exciting. And this is just the first race of the season. And we're going to have so much more. And some of the great classic tracks around the world you're going to find. And great classic driving you're seeing currently in the moment there. For the Battle for P4. Michael, on the wrong stuff, maybe on the right stuff, if you get past Daniel. Absolutely. The fight rages on, the fight for the lead also very, very close, so we've got to sort of duck our attention up and down the field. Talking a little bit at the calendar though, of course, obviously we're here for round number one at the Rubber Ring. In a week's time, April 29th, we take to Donington Park, Road Atlanta for round three. Zachary Gio Vilna, we get a three run uh, in the... Uh, across the Atlantic, Road Atlanta, Gio Villeneuve in Canada, Circuit of the Americas for round number five. Then we go to Zandvoort, Laguna Seca and Silverstone to round off the season. So eight very, very good circuits, very, very good venues. And what is hopefully going to be a very tightly contested championship. Bought the American, he's been hot on the heels of Daniel Weifeld and a little bit wide from the 64 machine. Hampers his run, darting to the right hand side goes Michael Brooks. He's got the measure. He might have the advantage now, a drag race up the hill in towards turn number three. Very, very close. The fight before Rage is on the 683, I should say, goes 
push the inside uphill braking zone. The 64 tries to get the up and under. It's going to be the outside line. It's going to be the sweeping line. It's going to be the better run off the exit of the third corner. Now the run downhill in the slipstream for the Englishman. Has he got the counter attack? It's the battle. America versus the UK. Now outside line for Weifeld. It's the long way around. He's brave on the brakes. He's more committed on the brakes. He's bold. He's brave. He's brilliant. Bit squirmy as they run their way through. Now it's the case of Brooks has got the inside line. It's the shorter way through. Has he got the advantage going into the next sweeping left-hander? Daniel Weifeld sends the move so close to contact. Great mutual respect between the pair of them. And now the advantage swings the way of Daniel Weifeld, who retains in fourth place after a very, very hotly contested fight before. It's continuing on. Is Brooks got any answer for what Weifeld has been able to put up against him. 33 laps of intense racing action between all of our contingents. Alexander Rivera will cross the line. He's going to see the checker flag first for the first ever time. The sim racing for Simpleton's Formula 3 Championship. Alexander Rivera from pole to flag. Victorious in the Styrian Mountains.